so here guys we've had a positive response of of one no trump showing spades and then an overcall of two clubs so here the the gamma in spades is relatively expensive in other words we'd have to jump two or three bids to get to two spades um, so pass is asking about spades respond to spades and a double here would be beta because we can count back to one no trump in other words one no trump is the bid below two clubs and so a double would be beta but note that it's only uh, a, a beta of one no trump that we allow ourselves to count back to we can't count back to a low beta of two clubs two diamonds or two hearts okay so this is slightly different here we had a, a positive response of one no trump showing five card or longer spades and now ops have over called two hearts now because two spades a gamma of two spades is available as the next bid up now double would be an alpha in diamonds pass would be an alpha in clubs so those are the suit below and the suit two below we don't have a low beta available and two spades would be gamma uh, go on Charlene what's the problem Sorry, was that in example one or example two? Right, okay, no, they bid one no trump showing spades. Okay, third example. No problem, Charlene. okay so this time we had a positive response of one spade showing eight plus balanced and now ops have over called with two spades so here pass would be automatically beta because responders shown a balanced hand not because we're counting backwards to a beta and double would be an alpha in hearts which is the suit below the interference of two spades if you want to make an alpha in clubs or diamonds you just have to bid it and lastly okay so here we had one club positive response of one heart and an interference of a double so here one no trump by opener is still low beta a redouble would be an alpha in diamonds in other words the suit below the last suit that's actually been bid which is the one heart response and pass is automatically gamma in hearts because that's the positive response that responders show okay any questions so far before we move on as I said right at the start it's a fairly easy week this um, I need to cover it separately because it would be too much to add to the second lesson but uh, no questions all asleep
so in that second example, sorry, the third example above, where we had a positive response of one spade, and then an overcall of two spades, if the supposing responder was actually a passed hand, in other words, they passed before the one club opening, then now we would still be using the special weak scale because this still effectively counts as a low beta because opener has used beta at the first available example, at first available opportunity. In practice, relay beta is never happening immediately over a positive response to one club um, because we'd need the gamma response first. Um, so, for example, if you look at that, uh, that example there, we had a positive response of one heart, a double by opener's right-hand opponent, They've passed, which is gamma in hearts. Uh, partner bids one spade. Um, again, we're using R1, uh, P2 for that. So uh, the redouble is the first step and one spade is the second step. So that would be showing five to one top honor. And now we have an overcall of two clubs. Here, Relay Beta is still the cheapest option that we have. In other words, a pass over two clubs would be Relay Beta. And a double would be Epsilon in spades, which is the suit below clubs, which was the interference. Okay, so there's lot, lots more on this on next week's session. Um, again, we're not talking here about interference immediately over a positive response because we've already have an alpha ask in this kind of situation. It was just to stress the point that sigma and repeat sigma take precedence over relay beta. The other thing is that the, the changes that we made to sigma last year are affected and, and were partly to take account of this kind of situation which is where the original alpha was after some interference, maybe interference immediately over the positive response to one club. Um, so that, that means that even, say, a three-step uh, response to alpha, which is, would be a positive, will actually take us up to, or maybe even just beyond, the agreed trump suit. And so here, uh, the relay would be sigma, and that would bump relay beta to the next cheapest possible bid. Okay, any questions so far on... Uh, interference over Charlie next week is a special week that I'm just inserting this time on how we are redefining what counts as uh, preemptive interference and it affects the last two sessions and this session I'm just coming in a minute to what we currently do over preemptive interference uh, but we have a current discussion going on in the forum 
with a view to redefining what we count as uh, preemptive interference. Um, if you cast your mind back to actions by opener over the response to an asking bid, um, we had situations where with preemptive interference, pass would become Levensol forcing responder to double and that then could be passed for penalties or opener could just sign off. So the conditions under which that pass equals Levensol kicks in uh, is about to change. I'm not going to cover it in detail in any detail tonight. It'll all be for next week because the discussion is still ongoing in the forum and we haven't actually finalized exactly how we're going to redefine it. But hopefully those discussions will be finished by Friday this week and I'll have a chance to prepare a lesson on it for this coming Saturday. So the uh, um, the next few lessons are just being bumped uh, ahead by uh, one week as a result. Similarly, uh, if you remember over preemptive interference over an asking bid, we had some contracted scales for some of the asking bids and the conditions under which those kick in is about to change. Uh, and it's looking like the conditions will not be identical. Um, it will need basically a jump by ops over the asking bid before the uh, contracted scales kick in. Um, not just D1P2, but all of the contracted scales for the asking bids except for beta and zeta. Okay, Shani? So anyway, that's all to come next week. But for the purpose of this week's lesson, uh, I am going to use the existing definition of uh, preemptive interference, albeit that we've decided that, that, in fact, we decided some years ago that it wasn't totally satisfactory. Um, we currently use conditions of ops making a jump to a bid at or above the level of three no trumps before pass equals Levensol kicks in and before the contracted scales kick in if the jump is over the asking bid. Um, we're trying to make it easier for us to penalize the opponents um, and um, to slightly decrease the level at which the contracted scales might kick in. But like I said, that discussion is still ongoing. If you're interested, go and have a look at the changes to OCP section of the OCP discussion forum, and you can see and hopefully join in to the discussions there. And please do join in if you get a chance during this week. Um, even if you're still learning OCP, it doesn't mean to say that you won't necessarily have uh, some brilliant insight into how we might be able to redefine it or manage these kinds of situations better. Okay, uh, just bear me a second. Oh, well, here's just a... Okay, um, very quick lesson tonight. Uh, we'll have plenty of time for uh, some practice hands. Has anybody got any questions on... Oh, sorry, hang on. Huh. I haven't actually done the... <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Just one minute.
so that's slightly different there. Um, that that the pass equals Levensol even now uh, bumps the cheap gamma. So if we had a sequence of, for example, uh, one club, one no trump from responder showing spades, and now an overcall of four hearts. So that satisfies the current definition of preemptive interference, i.e. it's a jump to a level at or above three no trumps. Um, so now pass would be Levensol forcing responder to double. An opener could potentially pass that double for penalties or sign off. But any bid would be uh, an asking bid if it didn't go through that pass Levensol sequence. Um, and a double would be an ask in the suit below. So, for example, if it did go one club, uh, one no trump showing spades, four hearts, now an immediate bit of four spades would be gamma, but pass forcing a double and then four spades would just be opener attempting to sign off in four spades. But if they bid five clubs immediately over... Uh, four hearts, then that would be alpha in clubs. If it went past double five clubs, then that would just be signing off in five clubs, and so on. Okay. Anybody got any questions about uh, action over preemptive interference? Like I said, the conditions under which that kicks in is about to change, and it, it will change from what I've just said there. Um, I don't necessarily know exactly what it's going to change to yet, because we may change our minds over the course of the next six days, but uh, it won't be simply a jump to a level of three no trumps or higher. It will be slightly more sophisticated than that. Okay, any questions about anything I've covered tonight? Anything at all? If not, we'll crack on with some example hands. Okay, <coughs> if you haven't already, Okay, could I have four victims or volunteers, please? Again, don't be shy. I don't want to be spending the next ten minutes trying to persuade four people to sit. I don't mind who it is. Um, if those of you who are fairly new to this sort of thing want to sit back and let the more experienced people do it, then that's fine. Um, but I'd be delighted if we had some people who were fairly new to all this to sit as well. Again, next week, John, I think for that. Uh, you know, effectively, here, pass would be alpha in hearts, unless we decide that we're going to treat, and again, this is still in the mix. That's why I say next week, you know, we might decide that pass would be beta. Um on the basis that the positive double would normally be relatively balanced. We might decide that, that pass would be beta 
two no trumps would be handing over the captaincy and um, as per what uh, what's his face in uh, America has suggested um, and so on but I mean that's the sort of sequence that is definitely in the mix still because nothing that we've arranged so far really takes into account what we do after a positive double and then some further interference um, that's one of the things that we need to iron out in the discussion forum over the next few days okay can we please have four victims to sit and play some hands <laughs> I don't know why I go through all this every week thank you Mr. Loot and Miss Kovacs Oh, the usual suspects are arriving now. Come on, one more, please. Come on, David, Malcolm, Michael. Somebody. Thank you, gentlemen and lady. Very good. Let's try a few hands. Don't forget, by the way, I, I'm, I'm quite happy with... with uh, no, not this hand. Sorry, Malcolm. Don't worry, David. I'll, I'll take any interference, but we are particularly looking... Yeah, well, we're all prepared for that, John. Um, we'll uh, we'll just look out for it. <laughs> oh dear. Hardly, John. Okay, so we are particularly interested in interference over the positive response here. If you feel like interfering before the positive response then that's also fine Esther coming up with a one diamond bid that few would but, but that's fine okay so here we've had no, no, it's fine, Esther. It's, like I said, I don't mind interference before the positive response, but it's particularly interference over the positive response that we're looking for tonight. Um, even if you have to just manufacture some random bid. Okay, so here, one no trump was not reversed. It's not uh, showing spades. It's just showing 8 plus balanced so I don't know if Malcolm wants to reconsider the two spade bid so here two spades is alpha in spades so here Responder showed a positive balanced hand and we've had some interference. So here are the options for don't forget to alert that uh, Malcolm, just so that everybody watching knows what you're actually asking.
Uh, pass, John. Can we have an undo from south, please? And an alert from north. Hang on. I'm going to send this again. Sorry, the uh, usual story. The undo's mucked everything up. Should remember to just leave everything alone. Okay, so this will be slightly different this time. Okay, so essentially the same. We've had a balanced positive shown. Um, okay, unorthodox, somebody else allow the undo, not me, if I do it, it mucks everything up. So here, pass is going to be beta because south showed a balance positive. Two spades would be alpha in spades. So now south still has part of D1, P2 available. So they can double as the one step response showing naught to two controls. Two spades, two no trumps, and three clubs takes us up to five controls. So we've reclaimed a tiny bit of space here. Yeeha. I love it. You're a man after my own heart, Malcolm. Well done, Malcolm. The purpose of uh, interference is to make life awkward, and there's no question that... Uh, West has performed admirably here in making life awkward for North South. But uh, let me just think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
I think six no trumps is going to be not impossible. In fact, six no, no, you can make 12 here, Malcolm. I'll let you try and do it if you like. If you want to play the hand out. I was actually going to ask you exactly the same thing, John. I, I personally think that this should be... I think this should be... No, you shouldn't be, because we're playing this hand out, um, Esther. John, I think this should count as barrage because of the bit at the four level. That's why I was asking in the forum the other day about whether you wanted to change that thing about ops bidding at the five level and change it to ops bidding at the four level. Because I think... Uh, Case in point here, unless we count this, I think uh, North is a little bit stuck here. So we'll just play this hand out to Esther if you can, please. Oh, that's spoiling the fun, Esther. But yes, you're right. No, but if we're in an asking bid sequence, John, none of that applies, really. Um, if we've signed off, Yes, you do. That nine of clubs and the nine of hearts are absolutely critical in this hand. Um, but West is going to get mercilessly squeezed in clubs and hearts. And there's a nice Vienna coup as well. In that Declarer needs to cash the ace king of hearts leave the nine outstanding and then end up running the spades and the diamonds ending in dummy and west has got nowhere to go okay well done uh anybody got any questions here about the pass over two hearts Okay, let's try another. Esther, why do you think 
pass here is beta. thing is, three hearts is gamma. Right. So, double. Just hang on a minute, uh, Barry. D don't, don't bid on Malcolm. Okay, so, Esther, over three diamonds, double is, is the suit below, which is alpha in clubs and pass is the suit two below which would be alpha in spades there's no beta available when responder has shown a positive response in a suit unless you can count back to a, a one no trump beta and here obviously you can't You see, the whole point, if, if just before you bid, Esther, the whole, the reason back in the days when Jason and I were playing, we had a horrendously complex scheme of responses over interference. And I mean, it was, it was like this enormous list of bids that you had to remember without any particular rhyme or reason. There was a rhyme or reason, but it was really complicated. And uh, um, long, quite some time after, Jason and I stopped playing together. Um, we recognized that really that was just too complex. And so we came up with the current scheme. And also the byproduct of that is that Trump asking bids have the priority. Um, so whereas a low level beta was in, almost always available in the original scheme now a low level beta is only available if responder has shown a balance positive or if we can count back to a bit of one no trump as low beta if we can't do that then it simply isn't available it's more important for us to be able to make the trump asking bids and get a suit agreed because then we have relay beta available Okay, carry on, guys. John, by the way, just going back to your question, I'm, I'm probably tonight or tomorrow going to compose a, an actual sort of proposal um, based on what we've discussed over the last few weeks and what Jeff and you and Jimmy and the others have put in. Are you looking at pictures of cards, Esther? By any chance? I knew we'd get there in the end. <laughs> Go on, four diamonds, Malcolm. Go for it.
Yes, it would, John. Because double would be alpha in clubs and pass would be alpha in spades, so three spades would be zeta. So yes, three spades there would have been zeta in spades. So if you think back to what I said, I did mention this earlier on about relay beta earlier on tonight, that here we've had a bid three hearts which is gamma in hearts which agrees hearts as, as trumps whatever the response so now over the interference of four diamonds pass is relay beta because it's the cheapest possible action by east double would be epsilon in clubs the bid the suit below diamonds and anything else would be as you would expect. It's quite funny that name. It's quite funny. Yes, under the new arrangements, John, you, you're probably right. It would be. It is for next week. But I think, yeah, under the new arrangements, if we count four diamonds as barrage bidding, then pass would be Levensol and double would be Relay Beta. Ah, now, Mr. Fortune, did you by any chance forget that double was available as the first step response? Over four diamonds? Somebody click yes, please. If I do it, it mucks everything up. So yes, here, over four diamonds, pass was relay beta, but west has a double available as the first step response to show 0 to 2 controls. So four hearts would actually show three controls. Well, yes. <laughs> it's, there's going to be a period of confusion, John, inevitably. Um, it will take a while for everybody to get used to the new arrangements when they come in. There'll be a lot of pass equals eleven soul being missed. Oh, 
Okay, so West had shown two top honours in hearts, and we know that's the ace king. And if they've only got three controls, it means that we can't have the ace of diamonds. Hence, six hearts by east. Well done, Esther. Well bid. And Barry, thank you for your contribution, North. Um, I don't think there's anything terribly exciting in the play. If uh, we can just have a claim, please. Well done. Okay, so we have some quite uh, a couple of quite interesting bits here, um, where the pass over three diamonds wasn't gamma because three hearts was available as the relay. So gamma would just be as normal. Double and pass would be suit below and suit two below. And because suit two below would be an ask in spades, in other words, alpha in spades, an immediate bit of three spades would actually be zeta in spades um, without the need for a jump. And then we had pass over four diamonds being relay beta and D1P2 allowing double as the first step response to relay beta so we saved a little bit more space there and in the end we had space to spare but in other sequences the space that we were able to reclaim might be critical anybody got any questions about that sequence that was quite a good sequence thanks guys Okay, onwards and upwards. If anybody else wants to uh, jump in and play a few hands, if you followed the lesson and you know what we're discussing tonight, then please feel free to shout up and ask. And I'm sure any of the four people here would be delighted to stand and let you have their place. Okay, so here double was alpha in spades. Over the redouble, north only has a pass available as space saving. So pass would be no spade support, naught to three. Three diamonds would be no support for spades and four plus. And three hearts, as Malcolm correctly worked out, is spade support and 0 to 3 controls. 
this is definitely counting as barrage bidding, I think, John, if you're interested in the new arrangements, if we agree them. Or maybe not. But certainly a bit at the four level. Yeah, but we got a bit at the four level. Rather than the five level. Sorry, for those of you not quite following this, John and I have been discussing this subject of preemptive interference on and off for uh, about a year. And uh, those discussions are hopefully coming to fruition this week. Um, part of what we've been discussing, and other people have belatedly been joining in as well, is including barrage bidding in the mix where action by opener is concerned or ASCA is concerned um, so that even if we haven't had lots of jumps by ops there comes a point where we might kick in ask sorry pass becoming Levensol rather than something else So as it stands at the moment, this isn't preemptive interference, but under the new definition, the chances are that it would be counted as preemptive interference. So here at the moment, double uh, Uh, where are we? We are in Star Wars Alpha in space. Well, no, we're nowhere near spades here. So, um, pass would be sigma, double would be relay beta, and anything else would be what you would think. Yes. So pass would be sigma because that's the cheapest option. And sigma takes precedence over anything else. But under the new arrangements, John, pass would be Levensol, double would be sigma, and four diamonds would be relay beta. So this is weak scale relay beta. Because south has doubled. Ooh, interesting. First time. Over three clubs, do you mean, Charlene? Okay, so double was alpha in spades. Pass would be alpha in hearts. I must confess, I do like John's choice of alpha in spades over three clubs. Um... But in some respects, he, he's ended up shooting himself in the foot here. Just because he's decided to pass four spades. And uh, it's not given North the option of showing his voiding clubs. 
but c'est la vie. You know, that's that's the way it goes. Um, if John had bid three diamonds over three clubs rather than using alpha and spades, um, then probably it would have turned out differently. Interesting. Anybody else got any observations uh, on this? Have we had a claim, by the way? Okay, so a bit of uh, bad luck for North South here. Um, John's taken a view to to pass four spades, which is perfectly reasonable in respect of he's only got two controls opposite, and every chance, despite the redouble of three clubs, every chance that uh, we're looking at two probable losers. Um, at least, if not three. Um, and it's just a shame that it's not been a matter of South signing off in four spades, which would give North the chance to cubid their clubs. Because the four spades was the beta response, South has taken a decision to pass that, and it's meant that they've missed the slam. But... Uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Anybody else got any observations or thoughts or comments? Personally, I would have done the same as John here. I think I would have looked for the alpha in spades, um, knowing that I could fall back on gamma in diamonds. Um... Just unfortunate the way it worked out. Okay. Uh, try this one. Oh, blast. Barry, just bear with me a minute. Don't bid. I'm mucked up creating this hand, I'm afraid. Try it now. Come on, John. Three hearts. <laughs> and going back to your, your question in the forum, John, I would include this as barrage. Because we've had the jump by North and then another bid by South here. So with the new arrangements, I would class this as barrage bidding. Okay, so double is available to east as the first step response.
So now we have clubs agreed. Esther's working this out. Are you with us, Barry? So six controls opposite. That's a shame. Why no five hearts epsilon, Barry? Well, Given the two heart weak jump over call and the three heart response, it's almost a racing certainty that partner's got a singleton. So it's probable that the only control that's missing is the king of hearts, but it's also probable that, that it doesn't matter. But you can always afford a five heart epsilon over five diamonds. And if partner shows up with third round control, then if you want, you can sign off in six clubs still. I don't think you've got anything to lose. So my suspicion here would be that most people would probably get to seven clubs. If you were playing pairs, you would do well to get to seven spades here. That would be a really good, uh, really good result to get to in pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In fact, of course, you've got seven no trumps on. But uh, diagnosing the 13th trick is quite hard. You'd want to know about the Queen of Diamonds and or the Jack of Spades in the East Hand. Anybody got any questions here? So here we had pass being gamma in partner's suit. Okay.
Ooh. Okay, so here three clubs would be the, sorry, two spades. Oh no, hang on. I think three clubs is uh, gamma, isn't it, John? Come on, let's have a double. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, why not? So now D1, P2 kicks in, so double, redouble and, sorry, redouble and pass are the one step and two step responses. Ah, but if you're treating it as a length known gamma, then actually that's wrong. really comes down to being on the same wavelength here um, this situation is yes but if we're treating it as a length known gamma then the scale is different You still with us here, Malcolm? It's your turn to bid, my friend. So here, pass is relay beta. Three clubs was gamma in hearts. Pass over three spades is relay beta. So double is the first step response. Three no trumps, four clubs, 
and four diamonds take care of uh, one two not one two and three controls and uh, four hearts shows four controls Okay, good result. Not quite sure I agree with the sequence, but I'll explain what I mean in just a minute. <laughs> it doesn't need luck here. Uh, okay, well done. Um, I do have a couple of observations on this sequence. Um, okay, so firstly... Uh, I'm not sure with four controls and ace king to six hearts. I'm not sure I would have opted for a week two. I would have bumped it up to a one heart opener probably myself. But uh, that's fine. Um, in some respects it was a more interesting sequence with the two heart opening. Okay, so three clubs was gamma in hearts and we had then a double by West, presumably showing clubs. Um, now, I have mentioned previously when we were looking at uh, week twos that uh, this situation is one of only two or three times in the simple system where the length known gamma scale is in use. And if you are struggling to remember it, then it's no top honours, one top honour, one top honour and the jack, two top honours. In other words, to show ace, king to six hearts, north needs to go four steps here. And three diamonds was effectively only three steps because redouble and pass were the first two. Exactly. Yes. 
So really, North should have been bidding three hearts over um, the double of three clubs. Now three spades by uh, East would be just natural. Pass would still be relay beta. And now I would agree with the rest of the sequence. I have to say, given the three diamond bid by North, I'm not sure I would be venturing over four hearts with a weak two opposite. Knowing that North might have ace jack to six hearts and very little prospect of not having a spade loser and maybe even a diamond loser as well. I'd be more inclined just to sign off in four hearts over three spades. But there you go, like I said, right result. I don't know, maybe John forgot that it was a week two opposite. Um, I'd be quite happy just to get to four hearts here. Um, North would need to be super maximum for Slam to have any realistic chance. Anybody else got any comments or questions? Before we move on, yes, I agree, John. Um, and four no trumps can hardly be uh, a stiff ace or um, ace king x. Not very likely. Uh, East must have one of the top two honours to come in at the three level here, even at this vulnerability. So yes, that does leave North with a maximum, but they could still have... Um, you could still have a diamond loser, realistically. And you quite possibly got a heart loser on what you know. That was the point I was trying to make. Because you've only got double available. Sorry. You got a, the last bid was three clubs. So over the double by West, redouble is the first step response. Pass is the second step response, and three diamonds is the third step response. Is that what you meant, Charlene? No, four diamonds should have been, sorry. Three diamonds should have been three hearts. And over the pass over three spades, double is the first step response. Three no trumps shows one control. Four clubs shows two controls. Four diamonds shows three controls. And four hearts would have shown four controls. So three hearts should have been three, sorry, three diamonds should have been three hearts. And four diamonds should have been four hearts. Okay, Malcolm. Because you opened a week two, we're using the the weak beta scale. Righty ho. Let's try. Just hang on a minute. Yeah, well, c'est la vie.
Oh, come on. Now, oh, all right. Go for it. The trouble is, John, is that we're trying to get the interference over the positive response. <laughs> Just try two clubs. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Um, bid, bid something at the one level, if you would, Malcolm. Yeehaw. Okay, so one diamond here is a positive in diamonds because of the double. Thank you, John. So now over one spade there's no cheap gamma in diamonds so pass would be gamma one no trump would be beta here yes but pass would be gamma in diamonds and double would be uh, alpha in hearts North South doing us proud here. So one though Trump was beta. Past those three controls. So we've now saved already two entire rounds of bidding almost in this sequence because of the cheap interference by north south Barry's getting his abacus out here, trying to work out the response. Yes, well done, that man. Now it's Esther's turn to work it out. Easiest way I find, guys, to remember Gamma is that the five-step response is almost always ace king or sorry two top honors to a six card suit and then you can work it out easily up or down from there so three diamonds would have been six card suit with two top honors 
So another three steps gets you to seven card diamonds with two top honours. Well, that's a view. Well, three no trumps is going to make, no question. Got nine tricks on top. Malcolm, thank you very much for sitting, my friend. Is there somebody else who'd like to sit in if Malcolm has to go? Anybody else? Jump in. Not there. Okay, I'll be through in a minute, Naomi. Okay. Can somebody else sit north, please? Thank you, Charlene. Okay, um, in view of the I can understand Esther's pass of three no trumps here uh, in the sense that she can count nine tricks on top in no trumps with seven card diamonds and her two aces. But you could always fall back on five diamonds. I think I would have been tempted to try and find out a little bit more about uh, West Majors here. In view of the double of uh, one club and then the two club bid and the one spade bid from North, I would have been interested. There's no, there's no chance of West having the Ace of Hearts. But you've given them no chance to have something favourable in the black suits here. I think knowing that I could fall back on five diamonds fairly safely, I might have been tempted to uh, try a four club bid at least. But there you go. Alrighty, and the next one. Just hang on a minute, I need to uh, find a different file. A second.
So this is presumably some kind of a a sort of Michael's cubid. One would guess. So here passes Gamma in Hearts. Definitely barrage bidding under the new arrangements. So again, the cheapest possible action, action over three spades is pass, and that therefore is relay beta. Uh, are you forgetting a bit here? Charlene what's the first step response indeed There's actually some very nice inferences able to be taken on this hand. Not sure if John's taking them, but...
Okay, guys, well done. Can we have a claim, Charlene? Okay, I mentioned some inferences here. We know North's got ace, king to five hearts. I'm thinking of, of this from South's point of view. We know that North's got ace, king to five hearts. And they've only got three controls. So clearly they haven't got the ace of diamonds or the king of spades. It's almost a racing certainty, therefore, when they show up with third round control of spades, that West only has two spades and therefore is probably relatively short in diamonds as well. Otherwise, they might have give, given preference to diamonds, but they gave a definite preference to spades. But moreover, if North is missing the Ace of Spades and the, sorry, the Ace of Diamonds and the King of Spades, it's almost a racing bet that they have the Queen of Clubs. Otherwise, they would probably have a bare seven count and would quite possibly have bid one diamond over one club with only five card hearts with six card hearts they might have stretched it to a heart positive but with only five card hearts they might have just gone quietly with one diamond so really this one comes down to a, the probability that you're going to have a nasty split in hearts, which you are indeed. But do you feel lucky enough um, not knowing where the King of Spades is for sure? But there's a good bet it's with East. So knowing that the King of Spades and the Ace of Diamonds are probably sat with East... I might have pushed for a bit more than five hearts. But it's not unreasonable to stop there. Any questions? Guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to leave it there, I think. Um, I've had a long day. I've driven... Uh, couple of hundred miles to uh, to get home today and uh, so John's got a practice tomorrow night I believe uh, please turn up to that um, in fact I will try and have a look in myself just to make his life hell um, and don't forget next week if we can finish these discussions in the forum over the next few days I will uh, be putting on an extra lesson next next Saturday on the changes that we're planning or incorporating into our definitions of preemptive interference and how it affects uh, what we've been discussing over the last three weeks when it comes to preemptive interference. As I said, hopefully that will uh, get sorted out this week and I'll have time to do a lesson for next Saturday. Anyway, thanks for coming, everybody.